Yo, welcome back to another video. We've got a Moogle 3060 Ti. So let's have a look at it. I've already opened it up. That's what it looks like. Right, it did come in the static, um, anti-static uh, packaging. And here is the card. Um, so it's a twin fanned card and it's actually a rebranded HP OEM card. So yeah, all they've done is put the stickers on it and called it a Moogle, but it's actually a hp version of it and the thing that's uh, quite different about this card is the uh, eight pin is on the on the end of it instead of like on the side um so that's what it looks like and it, apparently this card also runs a little bit hot apparently so that's one thing i want to check out performance wise obviously it performs like a 3060 ti so i'm not going to do any like benchmarks on gaming because we know what a 3060 ti should um, perform like all we're interested is in is the temperatures we want it to be um you know <laughs> not too hot but like i said i think this one runs hot um, so this is what it looks like at the top um, you can see the oh, you can see the coolers here you can see the heat pipes let's look at it this side heat pipes it looks absolutely new to be honest there's nothing wrong with it so um that's what it looks like you can see here the marking where it's been tested um, but i think this is like a new card um, i can't tell um, the outside obviously the new card but the core might be repurposed um so yeah that's one thing about these aliexpress cards so yeah these drivers um uses the um nvidia drivers there's no special drivers it uses um works off the official drivers that's one question i always get Do they work on official drivers yes it does um and then you can see the back plate um, that's what it looks like apparently this is meant to be white um but they've kind of like taken it off and you can see the g-force here as well um so yeah that's what it looks like so yeah again i'm, I'm not going to test the um games i'm just going to do the temps because that's what i'm interested in making sure it's within kind of reasonable temps so yeah let's get it inside and do some benchmarks and see what kind of temps we get yeah i forgot to mention i got it for around 151 pounds on aliexpress i thought i got a really good deal but then um royal mail got a hold of it when it came to the country and they slapped me with a 38 pounds um customs charge or something like that so it came up to 190 pounds which isn't too bad but if i knew i was gonna get um hit with the customs charge then i would have probably not bought it but it is what it is and i'll probably put it in a build um, and sell it off anyway so it's not not, not a problem right so i've got the gpu in you can see it's lighting up and you can see the eight pin connector on the side it's paired with the i5 9 f it's one of my spare machines that i've got lying around so i'll just chuck it in there so i'm not doing any benchmark on gamings because it performs like a 3060 ti all i'm interested in is the wattage and the temps Right, so on CPU-Z it comes up as um, 3060Ti, TDP at 200 watts, and it's using um, Samsung um, memory modules. Um, and then on the GPU-Z, we've got again 3060Ti, um, and the sub-vendor is saying NVIDIA, not the HP, which is interesting. Um, and all these are all the other data that we have. Right guys, so I've got Fermark bench test running and this is version 2, um, so I'm going to do it really quickly and as you can see, been running for about 5 minutes, uh, stress test on 1080p, temperature 75 degrees, not bad, maybe with an under volt and maybe even a repaste, it might lower it, hotspot 87 degrees, not bad at all to be honest, usage 100% load on the uh, GPU and as you can see here, power 200 watts it's pulling so we saw in cpu z that it had a um, tdp of 200 watts maybe you can pull a little bit more using something like um, msi afterburner and put that power limit all the way to the maximum and hopefully you can get a bit more power out of it um, but i think getting 15 more watts wouldn't give you any more kind of performance probably better under vaulting it um, so yeah, there you have it guys. You can see the graph is all flat lines now, so um, it's not going up and down as much, so stabilized at those temperatures. Um, one thing I did also want to mention was, you can hear, it's not very loud. I had other <laughs> GPs from AliExpress, they go crazy, especially um, AMD cards, they go absolutely crazy at 100%. 
um, when it, it's at 100% uh, uh, load and temperatures start um, increasing, the fans just go crazy and just goes really high. But yeah, this card as it stands, I think it's a decent uh, card for what I paid. So 150 I paid, but I got charged £40 at customs, so £190. I think under £200, 3060Ti is still a decent card. Maybe it's going down to the 1080p kind of graphics card now because the new games are coming out, you need at least 12 gigs of VRAM. But yeah, that's another debate in another video. Um, but yeah, that's a quick video on the Moogle 3060 Ti. If you have any questions, write them down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.